What is up guys, it's your boy Sharky and welcome back to another video. We are finally doing it. Today I'm going to make history on the channel. I have never done a Stardew Valley Joja run since I have played this game. But today we changed that. This is a brand new series on the channel, a playthrough, pure vanilla, the standard game. And we are doing a Joja run or the Joja route. Trying to earn as much money as we can, buying all the bundles from Morris and completing uh, the community centre but in a different way. I never thought I'd ever do this. I've been loyal from day one to Pierre. This is going to be all new to me. Like I said, I've never done this run before. And uh, yeah, we're going to completely play the game differently. And I'm going to be a sellout <laughs> for the first time ever. Welcome to episode one. Let's make some money and buy a Jojo bloody membership. God damn it, why am I doing this? Our character's name is Morris Jr., all right? And we are on the Jojo Sucks farm. I'll say no more. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do all this wrong. I'm not gonna try and do it like like a speed run or anything. I am gonna, I'm not gonna take my time, but I do want to try and get this done within the first year. I don't wanna get to winter. Spring, summer, and fall would be a nice time frame for me to get this done. And I do know it's all about making money on this, uh, obviously, run. We're gonna have to buy all the bundles. We need 140,000 gold in total in order to obviously complete the community center. So for the first few days, especially, it's just gonna be grinding. We're gonna do a lot of fishing, we're gonna do a lot of mining. I'm not gonna plant any crops for the first five or six days. There's not a lot to do. I'm gonna plant these 15 parsnips that we've got. And then I'm probably just gonna clear up some of the farm, get some materials, and that's it really. So I believe we get the cutscene after the fifth, is it? Where the Mayor Lewis obviously tells us about the rundown commune center. And then once we've got that cutscene, we can buy the membership. I think it's for 5,000 or something like that. And then that's where we can start properly. Hopefully you guys are excited for this playthrough. Like I said, this is all new to me. I've never done this before, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know the best way to do this, but I'm just going to try my best, have some fun, and yeah, see the game in a different light. Okay, let's get these seeds in the ground. I'm not going to buy any more parsnips. When these are harvested, I'll probably use a lot of these for energy. Unless we get some good quality, then I'll sell those. But I am going to be doing a mine run, or quite a lot of mine runs, actually, for a lot of resources. Because I'm planning on getting a lot of potatoes and straws, so I really want some sprinklers, to be honest. Because wasting a lot of energy and time watering is going to kill me. When I could be doing fishing or something like that to earn, you know, money. I don't think this is going to be a very long playthrough. It's not going to be, you know, into the 30, 40 episodes. I'm going to try and get this done as quick as possible. Quite a, a short playthrough, a little mini-series. I'll show you all the highlights, you know, the best days, the best bits, because there's not a lot going to be happening in this playthrough. It's, like I said, it's all about earning money. <laughs> you probably watch me fishing quite a lot. But I managed to get three mixed seeds there, so I may as well get those down as well. Let's do the watering. I'm going to get enough wood to craft a chest, and then I'll probably sleep this day out. Get the fishing rod tomorrow, and then we can. Then I'll be able to make, start making some money. So, will I have enough energy just to get some wood? Just need one tree, I think. Yeah, energy's running low anyway. Let's get this chest. And I think that's a decent start. Let's sleep and get the rod. Watering for the first time. Let's do the watering. We've got a letter. Uh, yes, Pierre. I'm sorry, Pierre. I'm sorry. We're going to be a sellout, but he's all right for now. <laughs> We've not bought the membership yet. Probably do some foraging on the way down. This is going to be good for food and energy if it's going, if we're going to the mines. There's some wormies as well. Wormies! Clay. Oh, yes. Good find. Another leak in the trash can. I will definitely be checking those at the start. So, we've got the rod, and today I'm literally just going to fish. We're going to fish all day. Can I reach those? Oh, yes, we can. I'm going to be doing this all day long. It's going to be boring, but you know what? It's going to be important to make as much money as we can, and I want to upgrade this rod straight away to the fiberglass. So, we're going to need the membership money and the fiberglass rod money. That's definitely something I need to be doing. It's going to be tough. We need a lot of money. I need the backpack. I want tool upgrades. I still need to get all of that stuff. But this time, we need to spend the money on bundles as well. If you're curious about the settings, everything is set to default. We've not changed the profit margin. It's not any difficult. There's no mods whatsoever. We're on the standard farm. Yeah, and that's it. It's the standard, normal Stardew Valley playthrough. And that's those bubbles done. We've got quite a lot of good fish there. Starting off well, it's still only 9am as well. 
There's a chest there. I had to get it. I was trying to get the perfect catch. But we need these chests as well. Ten bait. Okay, that's good for a start when we get the fiberglass rod. Can't use that right now. But definitely when we upgrade the rod, I will be using that. Bait's going to be amazing. I'm going to spend some money on that. It's another chest. Oh my god. Okay, let's go for it. Give me something good. Okay, coal and iron off the bat. Let's go. Straight away. Day two. And we've got a bit of iron and coal to our name. <laughs> what a start. All right, so let me know in the comments, guys. Are you a Joja fan? Do you prefer doing the Joja run? Have you ever done one before? It'll be interesting to see how you guys play this game as well. Oh, we're running out of space already. Oh, we need all this fish as well. No. Uh, right, okay, we've got... A gold sardine here. That's going to be more than a normal herring, so we'll get rid of that. Okay. Let's go and sell this to Willy straight away. May as well sell this straight away. Get our money fast. We can't get the fiberglass rod yet. I think we need to get level 2 fishing, I think, or something like that. Or free to unlock it. Do this for a few more hours whilst it's open. And we can sell quite a lot of our fish there for today. Without having to go back to the farm. We're getting our money and we are saving space. A flounder. Nice. Nice, perfect catch. That's what we want. Get those good quality. Get that XP. Right, time to sell up again. Two silver flounders. That's going to be decent. Will it be back? We've got some more to sell. Oh, look at that. Let's fish it here. It's a bit closer now. Oh, there's some bubbles right there, though. Let's quickly go. I might not be able to sell these directly to Willy. I'll put them in the shipping bin tonight, though, and we'll be fine. But let's use these bubbles every chance we get. The fish are going to bite faster. They're going to be good quality. Oh, I missed the perfect. Please stay here for a little bit longer, please. Not seaweed. Oh, all that. Oh, they've disappeared. No, we got two fish out of it. Perfect as well. And here we go, day one done. Well, day two in the game. Level one fishing, level two fishing. We can now craft bait. Perfect, we got to level two on that one day. Made some good money if our artifacts on the beach. We've got an Iridium flounder, which sells for 200. We also found a silver halibut. Very good money here. 750 gold plus all what we sold to Willy. We've definitely got enough for the fiberglass, which we can buy today because we've now got level 2 fishing. And that's what I'm going to spend the first lot of money on. But it doesn't matter because today we're going to be doing the same thing. Hopefully we don't lose any of these parsnips to the crows. That would be really nice. But because it's raining, don't need to water. I'm going to go straight down and do some fishing for when Willy opens and I'm going to upgrade this rod. In fact, what I'm also going to do is that 10 bait we've got in the chest, I'm going to take that with me. That's going to help a lot. Let's take this bait ready. We'll sell this daffodil. We can't eat it. No good for us. Get a little bit of extra cash. And let's move on. I don't care about any of these journal quests either. I'm not focusing on that. This is going to be a Jojo run. I just want to get that complete. Right, let's check these trash cans. Because we are going to do a spot of fishing here today. Until we can go and get the fiberglass, let's try and get a catfish. That'll be amazing. Perfect way to start the day. Yeah, pair of glasses. And they're broken as well. Oh, look, there's my work buddy. Shane. I love Joja too. We can be friends now. Shane. 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 He still doesn't care about me. I'm wearing my Joja uniform as well. Look at this. I even look like Morris. I've got black hair, glasses on. Who knows? I could be his son. Oh, we've got a chest. Let's go. I love seeing those. They excite me. Come on. <clears throat> right, yeah. Okay. Whew. Just what I wanted. Right, let's quickly go and upgrade this rod. Got enough money for it. It should be open. Wormies. Wormies. Wormies! <laughs> Clay for every single one. <laughs> oh my god. Right, what am I doing? Yeah. Oh yeah, forgot. All this stuff that we uh, we left yesterday. I was fishing, I had no space. Oh my god, there's bubbles here as well. Oh, this is crazy. Uh, right, I've got to try and get into these. This is good. If I enter the door, these are going to disappear. I've got no space. I'll have to put all the trash and stuff on the floor or in the bin. Doesn't really matter. 
But let's get these fish. It's raining as well. We could get some good ones here. But right, let's get rid of that for now. I'm going to eat this seaweed. That's another space done. We'll eat this green algae. That's us see if made a bit of space. The wood can bloody go. God damn it. Six wood. Right, come on. Stay here for a bit longer, please. It's hard to see the bubbles in the rain. Because obviously all the rain's hitting the water, but... Definitely saw these ones. Nice. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, I've got to go for that. I was going to try and get a perfect, but... Let's go for this instead. Oh, this fish is right at the bottom as well. Oh, now you decide to come up, huh? Right, can this be better than wood? Oh, let's go. Ten more bait and eight copper. Alrighty. And the bubbles have gone as well. Nice. Let's sell these fish to Willy. Buy the new rod. Please be open. Yes. Okay, take my fish first. Look at that money. And there's the fiberglass rod. I'm going to buy 30 bait. So we've started off with 50. And that should be perfect. I'm going to trash the old fishing rod. And let's get to it. Let's go back to the catfish spot. We've still got 587 gold. And we're going to fish all day with a better rod. We've got 50 bait to start us off. We're looking good, guys. We are looking good. Right, one of my favorite places to fish in the river here is this big shadowy place here underneath these two houses. Get a max cast, you should, well, we need another fishing skill to, to be able to get right into that deep bit, but we're touching the edge. You'll get some good quality fish. This is going to be my day, guys, and then tomorrow we're going to be fishing up in the lake underneath the mines, three different places, and then on the fifth, we're going to harvest the parsnips, make some money, and go to the mines. So, yeah. I'll probably see you when this day's done as well. If anything interesting happens, I'll show you and report. But I'm just going to be sat here in the cold rain making some moolah moolah, baby. Oi, this is a catfish. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this one before I do a little skip. Is that a catfish? He was. It was quite easy, to be honest. But we've got the achievement already. Fisherman, a silver quality. So we've already caught 10 different kind of fish. Amazing. Right, now I'll go, guys. I'll be on my way. Oh my god, back to back. It's another catfish. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going soon. Normally, I wait a long time for these catfish. Not today. Today, they want to play. They want to be my friend today, these catfish. They are not scared, but we've got two back to back. Both silver quality. This is a nice little spot here. In between these two bushes. Yeah, the catfish are biting. Oh no. This catfish decided to land on a chest as well. We've got the chest. Can we get the catfish? A double whammy. This will be brilliant. I've never had this much luck with catfish before. Oh, okay, now he's decided to be tricky, this one. It could be a gold quality. Maybe even iridium. We've had some perfect catches. We got him. Bio silver again and a chest. Oh, my God. Three frozen geodes and an ancient sword. Probably sell them. Don't care about doing the donations or the museum on this run because once I've done Joja, you know, the series has ended and I'll probably will never jump on this playthrough again. So, yeah, anything we get, it's, it's literally just getting sold. But so far... I've never had this good luck with catfish before. Three in a row. It's only one, just gone 1pm. Gonna make some good money today. Why did the chest have to appear when we're into a catfish? I can't, I can't go for that one. I'd rather take the catfish, and if I went right down there, I probably would have lost it. Change location, we're down this bit now. I'm gonna do a bit of foraging, or nighttime foraging, on the way back up. We're into quite, we've had quite a lot of catfish tonight. It's been a very good catfish day. I think we've leveled up again because I'm now casting a little bit further. Now the bream are all out, so I don't really want to mess around with them too much. But look at all this. Oh, we've got no space here, though. This is not good. Some good spring onions here. Dandelions. Good foraging, but no space. Right, I wonder if I can make it home and come back here and get all this. Because the spring onions will be very good for food for when we go to the mines on the 5th. Or whenever the parsnips pop up. So let's quickly make it back home. And I'm going to come back down here and do some nighttime foraging. We should have enough time. Oh, no. That was lucky. I've got no energy. And I didn't have my scythe. That slowed me down. That slowed me down a lot. Right, let's sell all this. Get rid of the ancient sword. I'm keeping the geodes, though. Oh, the catfish is good. Good, good. We've not even been mining. And look at the ore that we've got already. Right, these green algae are going to be good to go to the mines. I'm going to eat these two. Or just that one, just so I don't pass out. Let's get my scythe this time and the pickaxe so we can make our way down. Let's go and get this forage. Um, no, let's let put my fishing rod away. I'll get rid of that as well. Right, come on. I need to make it. Oh, it took so long to get through there. I've cleared it. I've made a little bit of a path. I might just be able to make this in time. 
And the problem is, it's quite hard to see now. I need to do a full loop around here. Right, okay, nothing else other than on this side. I can't even see the stuff, it's so dark. Right, there's the spring onions, obviously. Right, there's the dandelion we saw. Two more here. There's another one of those. Was there anything else? I thought I saw an horseradish. There it is. And we should make this back in time. Whew. Close. Another day done, and we've got level 3 fishing. Let's go. Oh, level 4. Oh my god, level 4 and foraging as well. Very good day. Made some decent money too. Look at that. 2,200. I do think I'm going to buy the backpack upgrade before we get the Jojen membership. Just because we are going to need that. Okay, we've got the furnace. Which is good. Right, I need to wash all these. We've not lost any yet. Very good. It's a rainy day. Got a letter. Willy. Okay, yep. New rod. We've already got it. Hat mouse. Morris Jr. from Robin. Okay, nothing much exciting again today. But we are going to do some fishing up in the lake today a little bit of a different place got 23 more bait left might be able to find some forage on the way a little bit of a different place get some different fish some large mouse and bullhead make some decent money and tomorrow it's gonna change we're gonna go to the mines we've got to harvest the parsnips go and get some potato seeds it's gonna be a lot to do and we got some wormies oh my favorite spot we can't even fish there yet wormies Oh, nice, we can sell that. Any artifact we find, we will be selling. Right, let's fish towards this log down here. Another good spot. And this is going to be me for the day. Well, until my energy's gone. We've only got a dandelion to eat. I want to save the rest for the mines. A gold largemouth straight away. That's going to be some decent money. I want a few of those today. This is meant to be a Joja playthrough, and I feel like it's a fishing playthrough. <laughs> God damn it. I promise it's not going to be all fishing. It's just for now, all right? We need money. We need to buy the membership. We've got to get all of our stuff ready. All oh, the bubbles have appeared. Right, uh, I'm gonna, this is only a carp. We'll get rid of that. And let's go and fish for these. This is going to be more important. Get those bullheads and largemouth. Come on. Oh, it's going to be a carp again. If there's, if there's any more that does that, I'm just going to get rid of it. No, this is not a carp. This might be a bullhead or a chub or something. It's a little bit different. But let's get this chest as well. It's not staying at the bottom. So I feel like it's not a carp. It was. But we've got the chest anyway. 20 bait. Ho oh, ho, let's go. It's going to save me some money. Bait and bubbles. Great combo. There we go. Another chest. Oh my god. Uh, let's get this quickly. There's a large mouth as well. Diamond. A diamond and 10 more bait. Oh, what a chest. Okay, we're going to sell that. That's going to give us 750 gold, is it? That's amazing. Another chest. Three in a row. It must be a good look day today. No, no, don't lose the fish. Don't lose the fish. No, not now. Not now. Wow, the bubbles are still there. We've got a diamond. Third chest in a row. Can this be something good as well? We've got lots of bait. There's a chub. And what is it? Oh, some copper and coal. And no space. Oh, look at that. The coal managed to stay there and not fall in the water. And the bubbles are gone. That was crazy. I I'll tell you something. If ever you see those bubbles, make sure you go to them. They are so good. Especially this early on in the game when you really need the money. And you've only got the basic skills and tools. They're a game changer. That diamond, what a find. Right, I'm going to get rid of that copper ore. I don't think we need that. We're going to find lots more of that later on. Oh yeah, what I should do is put that bait on as well. That's going to save a spot in my backpack. After this fish, oh, maybe not, it's not a fish. Let's do that now, bait on, we've got 44. We've, we bought 50 and we've still got 44. That's amazing. We keep finding a lot of it in the chest. This morning's kicking off. Who said fishing was boring, guys? It is kind of boring, it's kind of slow, but it's nice, it's peaceful, all right? It's satisfying. Especially when you get a largemouth bass like that, an iridium quality. Woohoo! He's a big boy. There's our first bullhead. I wonder where you was hiding. Iridium bullhead. Okay, we've got to get rid of that silver carp. They are kind of rubbish, to be honest. Don't sell for much, so I'd rather get the largemouth and the bullhead. And the chubs. Could do with that backpack upgrade, though. Right, okay. If it's a carp, we'll keep iridium. The two gold's going to go. Okay, this is my last fish of the day. I've got no energy. My inventory is stacked. I've got so much good fish here. Great iridium quality. Loads of largemouth. Today's going to be a good day for making money. 
but I think I've got to head back because, yeah, I'm out of stamina now. I've got five Iridium Bullhead and five Iridium Largemouth. Incredible. That should be really good. I've got nothing to eat, so it's better for me just to go back. And I may as well just sleep and uh, wait till tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be a big, busy day. Oh, yeah, and we've got the diamond to sell as well. Oh, wow. And level 5 fishing already. Our fish are going to sell for 25% more. Oh, look at this. Very good fishing day. 2,800 gold for the fish. Sadly, the fisher profession, where we get 25% extra, doesn't count towards this lot of fish. It's uh, It's got to go to the fish that we sell after that. So, yeah, it's a shame. The Iridium Largemouth should sell for 250 each with the fisher profession, obviously, 25% more. But they're only selling for 200 as you can see, so it's not kicked into place yet, which is so sad because that would have gave us quite a lot of money. But still, nonetheless, a very, very good day. Three and a half thousand, I'll take that, just what we need. The more money, the better. We can get some good potato seeds, save up for the spring festival, the egg festival, and get loads of strawberries. Oh, I forgot to select the dog. I don't want no animals on this. I'd rather have no animals at all than a cat. No, I will not adopt this horrible ginger cat, all right? Hey, hold on. Oh, yeah, these are mixed seeds. I was going to say, why are them two not ready? But here we go. So the last day of the episode here, I'm going to gather all these parsnips, sell the silver one, a little bit of extra money, and we've got 15 normal, which is amazing because that's going to be good to go to the mines, which we are going to do today. We're not going to buy seeds until tomorrow. I just want my pickaxe, my sword that we're going to get, and my 15 parsnips. And we should be able to eat all of that and get down to the mines quite fast. We should get really deep down there. I'm hoping we get down to, like, the 30th or 40th. So, going to get loads of copper, loads of iron. I'll dodge everything else. We're just going to go for those. I'll also take the eight spring onions that we'll start working on first before we start working on the parsnips. So, let's go up to the mines. Cutscene. We need to do the cutscene with the Mayor Lewis actually to actually unlock the community center. That'll be a, a good start. But right now, let's just make let's just make our way down as much as we can. I don't know if it's a good luck day or a bad luck day. I can't. I forgot to check, but nonetheless, this is what we're doing. So there's the ladder and some copper. Let's go. Ooh, dark floor. We got a crabby. There's the ladder. Let's go gonna get these barrels already we're out of space this is just nuts I want that geode is there any copper up here no let's go down okay there's definitely some copper on this floor this is what we want hey we found our first geode through a stone as well Right, come on, let's get all this stuff over here. Take care of Mr. Slime so it doesn't do my head in while I'm gathering this copper. There we go. No ladder either. Another geode. There's the ladder. Elevator done. Fifth floor already. Let's take care of the slimes. There's more chance of a ladder dropping then. There we go. Oh, cave carrots are very, very good. Uh, let's get rid of that. We can eat those. In fact, I'll eat them right now. Good energy boost. I'll work through some of these spring onions as well. Get that energy up to the top and we can work our way further down. There's the ladder. Is there any copper on here though? No, let's go. Oh, ladder, first hit, let's go. Hey, straight away, level 10. Okay, it's 150. This is a slow start, really. Uh, let's eat these quickly. Get this better sword. Or is it the boots? We could probably go all the way to like 1250 before we leave, and then we should be able to make it back in time. There's the leather boots. I'll put those on. And let's go. Lots of copper on this floor, though. I don't think it's a very good luck day. I'm not finding ladders fast, and there's not that much copper, to be honest. So, it's definitely one of those bad luck days. Or neutral, maybe. Oh, some 
good copper on this floor, though. Cherry bombs! This is what I want. This floor is not giving me a ladder. Come on. Please. Engine's running low. Oh, no. I need a ladder quickly. Quickly. No, 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 no. This floor has took so long. Been attacked by all these moths. There's no ladder anywhere. This is rubbish. Just can't find any ladder. That was so frustrating. There's a ladder already spawned. I'll take that. Right, I think it's time to eat some more parsnips. I'd be happy if I can get down to 25. I wanted 30 originally, but I don't feel like I'm going to because it's bad luck. And also, we're on this damn floor, which is going to take me so long to get down. Unless I find a ladder at the start. I'm going to eat every rock until we get down. I hate this floor so much. Give me a ladder, crab, come on. I'm counting on it. Oh, no. And these things as well. The time's just... We'll probably not even get to 25 at this point. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, I'm taking it. I'm not going all the way down there. Okay, better sword. Much better. Steel sword. Let's go. There's the ladder down. Amethyst. Ooh, nice find. Right, whatever energy I've got with these last four parsnips, that's all we can do. Right, there we go. Fully energy. I've got no other food that we can eat. So we've got to try and get down three more levels within the time and the energy that we've got. So we've got, we need some luck here. Which we do not seem to be having, of course. Using every bit of energy that we've got right now. Oh, there's the ladder, though. I'll take that. Hey, another ladder. So we need one more. We've got a few hours, but not much energy. Oh, I'm going to need those, aren't I? Right. Let's eat both of these, and let's try and get one more floor. Got quite a lot of stamina now, to be honest. I can't take that topaz. Oh, we can. We've got enough space now. Come on, give me a ladder, please. Are you seriously going to do me like this? 1am, I'm probably going to pass out and lose some money, but there's no ladder. I want that one more floor. That is so annoying. Oh, damn it. One level away, this always happens. I could have got to 25. That sucks, man. I don't think I'll lose items, but I'll lose a little bit of money. But it shouldn't be too much. The look was terrible. I couldn't find any ladders down. Level 1 farming from the parsnips, mining as well, and combat. Didn't sell anything today, so money was rubbish. But let's see how much money we made before we end the episode there. We've got 100 gold for a reward. Joja moved the landslide. Yes. Thanks, Team Joja. Cookies from mum. Woohoo. Okay, it seems like we lost a few hundred because we was on 6,000, right? We're now on 5,900. So, yeah, we lost a little bit of money. But you know what? That's fine. We're still quite high up there. We've lost none of our stuff. The main thing I wanted was the ore, the copper ore. And we're already on 78, which is amazing. I do want to craft the starter sprinklers. I know they're not very good, but it is going to save me some energy watering the crops, especially on a big scale when we get the potatoes and the strawberries. So that's going to be good. But I am going to end that one there. That has been episode one to my brand new mini series, the Jojo playthrough, the Jojo route. Yeah, this is new and interesting for me. In the next episode, we should be able to buy the membership and actually, you know, do the cutscene and all that and get started and start saving up for the first bundle, which I think I'm going to go with the minecarts, you know, to get to the mines a little bit quicker. And I think it's only 15,000. So that's going to be our first one that we buy and tick off the list. But give me some suggestions down below give me some tips help me out this is the first time i've ever done the jojo route so yeah any advice will be incredible thank you all for the love and support give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you're excited for this new series on the channel it's exciting for me this is why i wanted to do it i finally gave in i always said no i'm never doing the jojo run 
But you know what? For a fun, interesting series, my curiosity got the better of me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye.